What if we solve the world's trash crisis by throwing it all into volcanoes? Think about it. Lava is hot, destructive, and constantly bubbling. Why not just dump our waste into it and let nature handle the burn? It sounds like the ultimate shortcut. No landfills, no sorting, just one giant molten cleanup crew. But as with many bold solutions, the closer you look, the messier it gets. Lava isn't magic, and volcanoes are not some bottomless trash bin. Before you start packing your garbage bags for a Hawaiian field trip, let's explore what really happens when trash meets magma. Lava looks like a furnace from hell, but it's not designed to burn trash. Lava is molten rock, thick, slow, and sticky. Sure, it's hot, over 1,000 degrees Celsius, but that doesn't mean it vaporizes everything cleanly. When you dump something like plastic or rubber into lava, it doesn't disappear. It burns incompletely, producing dense clouds of black, toxic smoke. You're not solving the trash problem. You're just trading piles of garbage for an invisible, airborne chemical nightmare. In fact, footage exists of people tossing trash into volcanoes, and the result looks like a toxic smoke bomb, not a tidy solution. Now let's talk about what's in that smoke. When trash, especially synthetic stuff, burns in lava, it releases dangerous compounds like dioxins, furans, sulfur dioxide, and hydrochloric acid. These aren't just smelly byproducts. They're toxic at microscopic levels, causing cancer, respiratory illness, and ecological harm. And it doesn't stop at the crater. Once airborne, these pollutants drift with the wind, spreading across countries and oceans. You wanted to destroy garbage? Now you've created a global pollution cloud. Well done, volcano guy. Let's assume you ignore the toxic effects and still want to dump trash into volcanoes. Good luck getting there. Most active volcanoes are in remote, mountainous regions or dangerous hot zones. Building roads and hauling millions of tons of trash into eruption zones isn't just logistically ridiculous. It's a nightmare of cost, danger, and infrastructure failure. Volcanoes erupt, shift, collapse, and spew gas at random. Would you really trust your garbage fleet to drive into that mess every day? It gets worse. Dumping trash into a volcano might not just pollute, it could change the pressure inside. Lava tubes are sensitive. Adding cold material, new chemicals, or air pockets can destabilize them. What if your trash triggers a premature eruption? You didn't just fail to get rid of garbage. What now you've launched now? a lava bomb the into the sky, potentially destroying nearby villages, wildlife, and Run. ecosystems. Congratulations, you've invented garbage-induced geologic terrorism. Ironically, Lava may not even be hot enough to break down modern materials. Industrial incinerators reach 1,800 degrees Celsius or more to completely destroy chemical waste, much hotter than most lava flows. That means a lot of our most toxic garbage wouldn't even fully break down in magma. Instead, it would half melt, half vaporize, sending up even worse byproducts into the air. Lava looks fierce, but chemically, it's not the ultimate destroyer we think it is. It's hot, just not smart. Here's the good news. We don't need volcanoes to handle trash. Science already offers cleaner, safer options. High temperature plasma arc incinerators can break down waste at the molecular level. Advanced recycling, biodegradable materials, and zero waste cities are real and working. These technologies aren't flashy like lava, but they're practical, scalable, and don't blow up mountains. The problem isn't lack of options, it's lack of commitment. The real solution to trash isn't fire, it's foresight. Throwing trash into a volcano makes for great clickbait, cool animation, and fiery fantasy. fantasy. But in the, the real, real world, world it's an environmental horror dirty. movie. This Between the logistics, the, the chemical dangers, the eruption risks, and the sheer cost, 
It's one of the worst ideas you could have imagining for dealing with Earth's garbage problem. Nature's limits Still, imagining power. it helps us understand so the limits of nature and the power of science. Smile. So nod, next time someone pitches video. volcano trash disposal, smile, nod, and send them this video. Because the only thing that should go into volcanoes is ideas we've burned already.